Hi guys, this is Maths and Physics for you. Today we are continuing the discussion about the solution of 1D wave equations using separation of variables method. This is continuation from the previous video. So I, uh, I recommend that you uh, refer to the previous video so that we can uh, apply this example here. From the previous video, uh, we found out that the solution for the 1D wave equation uxt, which is given by the two functions x of x times t of x, we found out that it's a combination of x, x equals a cosine kx plus b sine kx. This is equation 2. Whereas t of t of time equals to d, a constant, cosine c k t. These are constants c and k plus e sine c k t. Three. This is equation 3. And the process was explained in the previous video. But we will use here the result to apply it in this following example. All right. So let's say we have, let's say, a string that at time zero, that's initially, it's pulled up so, and it's this string is tied at the ends. That is, at x equals zero, u x t equals zero. The displacement is zero because it's tied. And at the other end, where u of x t, we have x equals pi, let's call it here. Also, the displacement is zero. So, we will find a solution, another general solution for this case. Alright, so step one, we use the boundary conditions. Let's call boundary condition briefly BC for boundary conditions, if we use it later. So, use boundary conditions of UXT to get the boundary conditions of the other function, x, capital X of x, so that we can use it here in this expression, uxt equals x of x, t of t. Uh, all right, we are given that u, the displacement at x equals 0, at any time t is equals to 0. And also u at the other end, pi, at, at any time t also equals to 0. All right, now we sub in equation one, the, the, the equation for u x t equals x of x t of t, we, we sub this condition. So u of zero t equals x of zero, because x here is zero, t of t, small t, and also equals x for the uh, other uh, end, x equals pi, capital T of T, and this is equal to zero, so U equals to zero. But th this means that X of zero must be equal to zero. This is an equation. X of zero equals to zero, and X of pi also equals to zero. So we obtain these boundary conditions for the, uh, for X of X the function with, with the variable x. All right, so we obtain these two conditions. We use them for step two. Now we use the boundary conditions, as we said, BC stands for boundary conditions to find the separated solution. So as in the previous video, again, we had case A where C is negative. That is C equal minus K squared. And from that we obtained that X x of x equals to a cosine kx plus b sine kx. This is the previous page, equation 2, above. Okay, good. Now we have that x of 0 equals to 0. That is 1x equals 0, capital X also equals to 0. 
and displacement equal to zero anyway u so we sub it in this equation so x of zero equals to a cosine k times zero because x of zero a cosine zero plus b sine k times zero which is sine zero but sine zero is zero so this second part becomes zero is removed so we get x of 0 equals a cosine 0 plus 0 but cosine 0 equals to 1 so this means x of 0 equals to 1 times a which is a so this means that a is 0 okay this means that capital X of x must be equals to b sine kx by substitution because as we found that a equal to zero so if x of x equals to a cosine kx plus b sine kx if a is zero then we only will have x of x equal to b sine kx since a we found it equal to zero so this is equation four now we use the other condition the other boundary condition that x capital X of pi equals to zero as we found before uh, all right so again we sub it in the equation above so instead of x here we put x of pi equal to b sine k pi equals to zero but we know that this is sine k pi equals to zero only when k pi the expression inside the brackets equal to 0 or pi or 2 pi or 3 pi and so on that is it's a multiple of pi whole number okay so the first one k pi equal to 0 gives you k equal to 0 but this like if we say x of x equal b sine of 0 pi because k of 0 that will give you 0 so this represents yeah x of x equal to 0 that is u equal to 0 like uh, where x is uh, as you know at the boundary conditions u is 0 okay the other solution mainly k equals 1 k equals 1 2 and 3 if we divide by pi all right now so we submit again so the solution now is u x t this is now gives you the general solution in this case we know it x of x t of t and we sub the values we obtained so u x of t is, is equal to sine k x all right equal to sine k x assuming in this case we took a value of for b one but it could be different values so for simplification we'll use the value in this case one So it's equal to sine kx. Now we put also cosine ckt. This is for the, the reason we multiply it by cosine ckt because x of x is multiplied by t of t. The other function the vari with the other variable, capital T with respect to t. Again, as we saw from previous video and previous page, equation three, that t of t equals to d cosine c k t if you refer to it plus e sine k t so so it could be involving cosine c k c k t or could be involving sine c k t that's why the x of x is multiplied by cosine c k t uh, or sine c k t so the general solution becomes u x t equals sine kx this is used in both because uh, x of x is the same we obtained it from above here and multiplied by cosine ckt and we add them together so to get even a general solution so uxt equals sine x sine kx cosine ckt plus the other part which is sine kx sine ckt now we can have 
different shapes if we want to plot this wave we'll have different shapes for different values of k with the constant k let's start with k equals 1 uh, all right so for k equals 1 then u x t equals sine 1 times x because it's k x so it becomes sine x cosine instead of c k t becomes c t c t we're subbing the value of k uh, 1 in the previous equation so plus sine x sine c t you can notice here that uh, c in this equation represents the frequency of the wave so the number of front of the time this is in terms of time this is in terms of x so this represents the frequency c and the period will be equal to 2 pi over the frequency which is c so the period is 2 pi over c right so if you plot this equation for this case k equal 1 this is what you're going to get this shape see for the first half of the period it goes up like that and for the second half of the period it's like a reflection it goes down like that and if you like uh, sub like here t equals to pi over 2 half period this is the period as we said to pi over c if you sub half of it which is pi over c this is what you will notice that u is 1 or at the later period we will get minus 1 now the same thing the same exercise for k equals 2 okay. then u x of t will be sine this time 2x cosine 2 ct so this is instead of having just x we multiply it by 2 because this is k and this k plus sine 2x cosine 2 ct now the frequency is the number in front of t or t here the same thing so the frequency is 2c that means that we have the period is 2 pi over 2c which is pi over c now if you plot that again within this uh, between 0 and pi in the first half period first half period the one in black is this one then it's as if it is reflected in the second half period and it looks like that the sa same thing same similar exercise you can do for yourself for k equal to 3 and 4 and so on and there you have it folks Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.